You remember I said, have a look at this first example. If you've got an equation, just find some points that satisfy that equation, and you'll get points on the line. Okay? You can pick any points you like, but they suggest, in the exercise when you open up, they suggest particular points. They suggest the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Can anyone tell me, what do those mean? What does x-intercept mean? Anyone? Hmm. What do you reckon, Tal? Oh, so the point where the line goes to the x-axis. Very good. So if you didn't quite catch that, this is a line. This is another line. Each of these lines hits the coordinate axes at some particular point, right? Um, there's two different axes, so it hits each axis. The x-intercept is where you hit the x-axis. The y-intercept is where you hit the y-axis, okay? So in order to find each of these, to find the x-intercept, you let y equal zero, <coughs> excuse me, and to find the y-intercept, you let x equal zero. That's a bit weird, that's backwards. Students often confuse this. <coughs> excuse me. Just look at them one at a time. The x-intercept, why do you let y equal zero? What does y equal zero have to do with the x-intercept? Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you look at the x-axis with me for a second? Where is the x-axis? Here it is. All right, I better label it, huh? There's the x-axis. There's the y-axis. Okay. Do you see everywhere on the x-axis you're not up, you're not down, you're exactly in the middle, right? What that means is vertically you haven't increased, you haven't decreased. And that's what this means. Y means vertical values, doesn't it? Yeah. If it's zero, it's not positive and it's not negative, it's right there on the line. It's on the x-axis, okay? So let's actually try it. Let's see what happens. Here's the equation. I'm gonna let Y equal zero. 0 equals 3x minus 1. So now I need to solve for x. That's the x-intercept. Can someone tell me what to do? What can I do to both sides that might help me here? Yeah, hurry. Uh, add 1. Okay, if I add 1 to both sides, that gives me a 1 over here. What does it give me on the right-hand side, Georgia? If I add 1 to both sides. If you add 1 to this, what happens? Yeah, that negative one and the one, they become nothing. They do leave the 3x behind though, right? Good. That was the answer I was searching for. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? This is an improvement, but I'm still not finished. I should divide now by 3. By the way, why do I divide by 3? Why not say like subtract 3? Because three, subtracting 3 is a good way to get rid of 3, right? Why not subtract? Because it's... Yeah, there's a, there's a multiplication sign hiding in there. So you're undoing multiplication by division. So uh, I'll divide by 3. Uh, I might as well get the x on the left-hand side. I usually do that when I'm solving for something. So that gives me x equals 1 over 3. One over three. Okay, just, just keep that in your head for a second. Let's do the other intercept. If I want a y-intercept, I'm going to let x equal 0. It's the other way around. So let's do that. It's actually very easy. y equals... I'm letting x equal 0 now, right? So this is 3 times 0 minus 1. Well, 3 times 0 is 0. So y is just negative 1. Okay. Now we've got all the information we need. Draw yourself a set of axes, like so. Choose an appropriate scale. So I'm actually going to put negative 1. Whoops, that's a positive 1. I'm going to put negative 1 all the way down there. Okay, I am going to try and keep my scales consistent, even though I don't have to. It just makes my graph a little easier to read. If that's where negative 1 is, that's negative 2 thirds and negative 1 third. So I'm going to put positive 1 third over there. 0, x, y. Do you see how I've used this information, x equals a third, to put it there? I should label that too. And I've used this information to say y equals negative 1. It's down the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Anyone have any questions? Is that alright? Yeah? So you see how I've taken this information, I've chucked it onto the diagram. And just like before, now I just have to join the dots.
There you go. Y equals 3x minus 1.